Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, I'm gonna be testing out some new Dior products that I bought during the Sephora holiday savings event. I got 20% off both of these, but today we're gonna test them out and find out was it worth it or was this a total letdown? Let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So if you haven't seen it, I did post my Sephora sale haul video and in there I did purchase from Dior. This is their Backstage Eyeshadow Palette in Khaki Neutrals. I got so many requests to do a video with this palette, so this is what we were trying out today, and got my green shirt on, so we are gonna be going for a green look, which I am very excited about. And then I did also finally get the Lip Glow Oil. This has been such a hyped up product. It went viral on TikTok. It was sold out for the longest time. I couldn't find it online. I couldn't find it in stores. And then all of the shades came back right before the sale started. I grabbed the darkest one, which is in Mahogany. And then I noticed within like two days it was sold out again, this particular shade was but there were some other shades that were still available. Um, I will say that I have been trying out the lip oil because I was just too excited. Like I had to start testing it out. So I'll give you my thoughts on it, but we are gonna be trying the Dior palette together. If you're new here, I hope that you will subscribe and stick around. There's a lot of different content from me over here. I'm very multifaceted and I'm finally bringing that to my YouTube channel. I like to talk about beauty. I also like to talk about books. I'm a book blogger and also a self-published author of eight. And I also like to do some lifestyle videos and I'm a brand owner, so. Always lots to chat about over here. Let me get you zoomed in and we're gonna start in on the eyes. Okay, let's jump in. So this eyeshadow palette was $49. Again, I did get the 20% off because I am rouge. We have nine shades in here, some beautiful greens, gold, browns, and this top shade here is also a cream shadow. Now, I do like Dior a lot. I have the Dior Powder No Powder on. That's one of my favorites. I have the Dior Bronzer on, um, but I have never tried their eyeshadow palettes. So I really wanted to test it out. And when they came out with khaki neutrals, which was a little bit newer, I was just like, okay, I feel like this is the one for me because I really, really love greens. I will say that this one also sold out, which I'm very sad about, but they have a lot of different options. So again, I do link everything that I'm using in my description box. If there's anything that you're curious about, I did also receive some new brushes from BK Beauty. So I'm gonna be using some of the eye brushes in today's video. They just came out with a um, new like expanded line of their core brushes. So they sent these over to me in PR. So we are gonna be testing them out as well, even though I'm sure I'm gonna love them because I love the BK Beauty brushes. Uh, I'm gonna affiliate with them. My code is Samantha10, I believe. I will also have that in the description box. But I have a look in mind that I want to do and it's kind of like a green smoky eye. Like I love me a brown smoky eye, but something about this, I just, a vision popped into my head which doesn't always happen for me. So I kind of just want to go with it and I hope that it turns out okay. Cause I just made plans for tonight. So we'll see. I'm actually gonna start with the darkest green shade. I'm gonna use this one here from BK Beauty. This is in 211, so it's kind of like a small blending brush. And actually, I thought about using tape. Sometimes I've used tape in my videos, but I just didn't really feel like doing that today. So I'm just gonna use something that has an edge to it, like this is just false lashes, to help me create a more precise line over here. So that's the goal. I'm gonna pick up that darkest green shade. I'm gonna start to blend it on the outer part of my eye here. Having this lash box kind of help me extend it a little bit. Add a little bit more. Once I kind of have where I know I want the shadow to be, I don't feel like it's as necessary to use the box again. It just kind of helps give me a little bit of like a starting base. Oh, okay, all right. I always feel like a hard part for me is like lining up the eyes. <laughs> but we're gonna give it our best shot here. Okay. I don't feel like I did too shabby. I really like this color. When I first came in that first pass, I was like, ooh, I don't know if it's gonna be like enough oomph for me. Building it up just a couple of times, I think that it's really pretty. It kinda has a little bit more of that sheen to it also, like it's not completely matte. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of a larger brush. This is the 212, and I'm gonna pick up the green right on top then i'm gonna start the shade kind of like in the middle and start to blend it back and into the crease oh okay i'm actually really feeling on this shade again when i picked it up on the brush i was like ooh, it either might not be pigmented enough or i might be using too large of a just like blending like fluffier brush 
but that's really pretty and like doing like the shadows are doing exactly what i wanted them to do <laughs> wow it's like we have a connection so my initial thought actually was to take this olive green and have it on the center but then i thought about like this lighter shade but really th let's be serious like green cool those were the two shadows that I basically bought this palette for. So I'm like, I should probably just go in with the gold. So I'm gonna take a shader brush. This is the 209. And I'm gonna place this gold right on the inner part of my eye. We're not gonna talk about football in this video, okay? We're just gonna stick with beauty. And you know what? I think green and gold makes a really nice color combo. No other reason. We're not talking about football in this video. Okay, I really like this though. I think the green still would have been really cool. And I like how small this brush is because I'm gonna kind of flick it here into the crease. I like to do this sometimes with my shadows. I'm like, <sighs> this was so easy. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, smoky eye might take me a little bit longer. Let me start filming earlier just in case, even though we're having a super rainy dark overcast day in las vegas so i was already kind of like worried about my lighting and everything but this these shadows <laughs> okay dior okay like if all their palettes are this easy to use mm. and i love that it's a nine pan because i like smaller eyeshadow palettes this is so fun. So not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna have to do a lot more. Like I was envisioning taking some of the lighter browns to like blend out. I also, I don't know why I had this thought that this palette was not gonna work out for me. I don't, I already had visions of like what my thumbnail was gonna be and like, do you are not worth the price, all these things. And I'm like, okay, well I was wrong. So I just grabbed my Glossier Liner in Fresco. This is a really pretty green. I used it on my waterline. I did a little bit on the lower lash line and then I did also use it to tight line. And then I'm gonna take the pencil brush, the 210, and I do wanna grab some of the olive shade now. I'm gonna mix some of the olive and this brown here at the bottom for the lower lash line. And then I am just gonna smudge those on the lower lash line. Oh, oh, Dior. I also want to put this olive all over my lid. That'll probably be my next one. Like, I love a good one eyeshadow look. It's probably going to be that. Since I had kind of like a blank space. Wait, who? Taylor? Since I had a bit of a blank space here, I kind of just drug this out a little bit, creating that double liner. I did this with the Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. It just is like a little something. This is how I make my looks really out there for me okay but i am quite pleased with this eyeshadow palette i'm very excited about this i think actually i want to do a little bit inner corner i'm just going to use this is one of my favorite products i use it all the time it's from sigma beauty it's the sigma switch and you just run your brush on here and then it will um, kind of like spot clean it so you can use a different shadow different color that sort of thing. Um, so in between like actual deep cleaning the brushes, it's really nice to be able to use the Sigma switch. Love it. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the white with that uh, 209. I just wanna tap a little bit on the inner corner. Nothing like too much because I don't want to detract from the gold. Extra pop in here. Maybe just a little bit on the brow bone. That's all, nothing too much. I'm just going to add on my mascara. I'm gonna use uh, my new one that I also got in the sale from Lancome. This is the Lashy Doll. All right, mascara is on. I do have a YouTube short also of the demo of the uh, Lancome Lashy Doll, but I really like how it kind of like lifts and curls the lashes. I wish it had a little bit more of a boom to it, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. I'm liking it so far and it did not transfer on me at all. I think it looks really good on the bottom lashes too. But next up, I'm going to use the Dior Lip Glow Oil. Again, I got mine in the shade Mahogany. This one does retail for $38, which I think is pretty pricey. My favorite lip oil is from Sigma Beauty. I used it in my Sigma Holiday Get Ready With Me, and that one is $22. So again, pretty pricey. Definitely super happy I got it with my 20% off, but I really wanted to try it out because again, it's gotten so much hype. First, I am going to line my lips. This is just my favorite. Favorite lip liner right now. I kind of can't stop wearing it. This is in Warm Spice from BK Beauty. 
Uh, this video is not sponsored by Dior or BK Beauty. Might seem like it, but it's not. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and add on mahogany. All right, so the lip glow oil is on. So like I said, I've been wearing this a couple of times and my thoughts on it is I really like it. I feel like it is very smooth. It's not sticky at all. Feels a little bit on that kind of like hydrating side. I like that it's not super thick. Uh, I will say that I don't feel like the pigment is quite as much as maybe like my Sigma Beauty, but also the Clarins lip oil. I've been testing out that lip oil fairly recently, and I feel like if that's something that you're looking for in a lip oil, the Clarins might give you the most pigment out of the three that I just mentioned. Uh, but I also don't mind it because it's also kind of why like I chose a more darker shade because I didn't think it would be like, I didn't think it was going to look like this since it's a lip oil. So for my personal preference, I definitely don't mind it. But if you're looking for something with a little bit more oomph, the Dior might not be the best option for you. But I'll say about this one is that I just feel like it looks a little bit like fancier. And I don't even mean like in the bottle. I just mean like on my lips. I feel like my lips look, they look more expensive. I feel like it kind of plumps them up a little bit. I mentioned, I also did a first impression, which should be up as a YouTube short as well. And I said it kind of had a more minty smell to it, which I was a little bit surprised at. Um, I just wasn't really expecting that, but I feel like it definitely helps kind of like give my lips a little bit more volume. And I just, I really, really like the way that my lips look when I wear this one from Dior. Again, the more expensive price tag, like almost $40 for a lip oil. So I'm really glad that I got it at the 20%. I would still say if you can get it at a discount, whether it be the Sephora site, somewhere else, the Dior site, because I just think that's kind of like very expensive for a lip oil, but I think that it looks gorgeous. I'm very happy with the shade that I went for because I think that it's going to be great this time of year. You can pair it with a lip liner. You could not but I'm really happy with both of these purchases. Again, the eyeshadow palette was a first impression, but I'm excited to use this more. I think that there's quite a variety of looks that I can do from so like something super simple. Like again, like I'm just gonna put this olive shade all over my lid probably the next time that I wear it. You have the cream shadow in here if you wanna play around with that one. I love that we have some neutrals, yet we also have the greens and then that beautiful gold in there. But the formula was so easy to work with. It's very just like soft and smooth. It's buildable and blendable, two of my favorite words. And I, I just, I feel like I had such an easy time creating this look. I'm actually incredibly pleased with the Dior eyeshadow palette. That is a successful video, a successful Sephora haul. Very pleased about that. I know a lot of you were wanting to see me use the Dior eyeshadow palette on camera, so I hope that this helped you out. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments, of course, what you think of this look. But as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.